Hello, I'm Sue Shapcott and today I'm in Connecticut and I'm visiting a friend here and we had a little dig around in his garage and found some putters and I thought that these three putters would be a great way of talking about toe hang in your putter and deciding whether the putter is right for you based on how much toe hang there is. Okay, so let's first of all start by explaining what toe hang is. And as its name suggests, when I hold a putter up like this and find the balance point, then you can see what the head of the putter is doing. So in this instance, you can see how the toe is hanging down about 30 degrees. So toe hang is how much hanging the toe does when you find the balance point. Um, if I take this older cushionet putter here, then it has a lot of toe hang. That has 90 degrees of toe hang. So you can see that the, the toe of the club is, is literally hanging straight down. So that has a lot of toe hang. And this putter here has a face balance putter. And you can see how the face is pointing straight up towards the sky. So I have face balance putter. I have 30 degrees of toe hang and I have 90 degrees of toe hang. So what does that, what difference does that make? And the bottom line is that you need a putter that matches your putting stroke. So for example, if I putt and my putter head swings in pretty much a straight line, so just straight backwards and forwards, then the putter that is gonna suit me is gonna be one that has a face balance putter. So, you know, I'm holding the putter on its balance point and you can see how the face is just pointing straight up. So a face balance putter suits someone who has a straight back and forth putting stroke. If I have a putting stroke that has a lot of arc in it, then I need a putter with a lot of toe hang. So this older cushion it would be a good fit for me because you can see how much the toe is hanging down. And if you're somewhere in between those types of putting stroke, then a putter with about 30 degrees of toe hang would suit you. And that's kind of where, what most putters are made like with about 30 degrees of toe hang because they kind of fit right in the middle there. Now, what happens if you use a putter that doesn't match your putting stroke? So let's go back to this face balance putter here where the face is pointing up. So that tells us that there's not an awful lot of weight in the toe of the putter head, otherwise the toe would hang. And so if I have a putting stroke that has a lot of arc in it, then with a face balance putter, I'm probably gonna miss the hole to the right because the toe isn't going to close the face for me at impact, okay? So the other extreme for that would be if I have a putting stroke that moves in a straight line and I have a lot of toe hang in my putter, that means that as I'm putting, then the, the weight that is in the toe of the putter head, as I'm putting, it's going to release the putter, it's going to close and I'm going to tend to miss the hole left. Okay, so there's no right or wrong with the putting stroke that you have. There's no right or wrong in terms of how much toe hang your putter has. But the important thing is that your putter matches your putting stroke. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Please ask any questions if you like in the comment section below and check out some of our other videos.